what is up lwd adnan here and today i'll be giving you my thoughts and my feelings on the new upcoming london overground suffragette line now this is a line that's very local to myself it's a line that i've traveled on many a time so hopefully that means that my opinions and my thoughts and my feelings will be worth something so let's get straight into it first and foremost my initial feelings my initial um my initial reaction amazing i was overjoyed i was very very happy i mean it's another tfo license route i have been living in london my whole life born and raised all i know is tfo and london underground and london overground so yeah this was another route close to home haven't had this experience since tsw2 with the bakerloo line and it was that route alone that carried me into the train sim world franchise and we've been going i'd say we've been going strong ever since but it all started with that tfo licensing don't get me wrong we've had a lot of amazing routes in between but that was the one that touched my heart and i haven't really had that experience since until now with this line so like i said initially i was overjoyed very very happy however the more i started to think on it the more i started to think about what's going to be coming with the route what's you know what, what sort of activity we're gonna have along the route that's when i was reminded of the fact that it's a very boring route now don't get me wrong i'm still looking forward to it but there's just not going to be a lot to do there's not really going to be that replay value this seems to be one of those routes where after you have a couple runs with each service that's available to us the rail tours the uh, 66 runs and of course the adventure runs there's not really gonna be much left and this might be one of those routes where you only really get brought back into it because quick play has taken you there i know they've tried to spice it up by they i'm referring to dovetail they've tried to spice it up with the over a thousand services including non-playable runs when they do things like that it kind of it's kind of a hint that don't expect too much basically let's go take a little foray into what is coming with the route so of course we have the grand entrance of the class 710 the adventurer and i'll get into my opinion on the train itself on the models interior and exterior and the sound but first and foremost let's talk layers so first and foremost a shock and a surprise to absolutely nobody we're getting the class 66 now at least we're getting the class 66 in various liveries depending on what you own as dlc and the 66 will be pulling along by default fka wagons however the article specifically says that additional freight using other forms of rolling stock will also layer in such as those from southeast and high speed so it all comes down really to what you own now in addition to the 66 we will also be able to drive the flying scotsman and the 1938 underground stock that was brought to us by rivet games and those services will be rail tours so expect those to only be available during certain seasons certain months in the year onto the unplayable ai or unplayable layers we have the lnr class 801 azuma and the Thameslink Class 700. These will be forming the East Coast Mainline timetable. The full timetable will be utilized. So we should see a fair amount of those. However, don't expect any side-by-side -side running or some sort of racing. This line will run perpendicular and above the overground line. For your best experience, you'll probably be better off using the free cam. So with regards to the model, of the train itself i think the exterior is amazing they've done amazing work love to have but i think it's almost expected if you remember the rapid transit route the emu looks very very similar and it's because they're both made by the company so one would think that dovetail sort of somewhere locked up in a folder had the blueprint for the adventurer prepared and waiting to be used one day but whether it was that whether it was that the unit was made from scratch they've done an incredible job not only with the physical model 
but also with the livery down to the uh, livery that's on the um, on the doors which are there in real life and that's something that I'm not going to ignore and I can complain as I do so often but 10 out of 10 for the modern in my opinion the livery is perfect the colors are absolutely spot on with regards to the interior again when I saw the screenshot there was one particular screenshot I saw that was part of the first batch of screenshots and I was in awe it looked absolutely incredible and it wasn't just the seats or the moquette or the layout but even down to the uh, passenger information screens now you've got the passenger information screen that comes down from the ceiling which I expected Dovetail to include and it's just to inform passengers of the London Underground services and how everything's running but as you can see we also have screens above the seat now I'm very aware of these in real life I'm very aware of the messages that are displayed on these screens and I didn't expect Dovetail to fully implement them I expect either one a static image or for them just to be black just to be turned off but with the footage that was released recently we got an insight into how the screens work and they are fully dynamic which is incredible so again 10 out of 10 for effort with those screens now something in my opinion that is not 10 out of 10 not out of 10 in this route and not out of 10 in a handful a very large handful of other routes and that is scenarios now we had a small insight into what we have for scenarios namely some halloween and bonfire night scenarios as well as busy football fixtures and weather related disruption shock weather related disruption scenarios we've never seen this before slash s i'm sick of these we get these almost in every single route and all it is is some heavy rain a thunderstorm and you're constantly made aware that there's bad weather expect delays expect slow running and then they usually end with an unexpected finish where you're told we're gonna have to end the service here because we can't go any further things are too bad the delays are too bad we're gonna have to end it here for now and then scenario's over you get your gold and go home nothing exciting at all there the football fixture scenario we've had that before namely from what i can remember off the top of my head the east coast way and if i remember correctly all that was different in that scenario from a timetable run was that i think it was farmers station i could be wrong but i think it was farmers was a little bit more congested than it normally would have been not with trains just with passengers uh yeah that's a, that was literally it so whether that's going to be the same thing whether it's not of course remains to be seen i hope there's some sort of surprise i hope there's a bit more that goes on with regards to that scenario but again we're gonna have to wait and find out as for the halloween and bonfire night scenarios i really think those are just going to be timetable runs with a fancy jacket and a fancy hat or maybe the glasses with the uh, funny nose and a moustache as we've seen so many times before a little bit of a rod honestly i've said this many times during scenario uh, during my live streams scenarios should be something that are special and so far distant and beyond what a normal timetable run would be it shouldn't just be a timetable run with a fancy name and a fancy description dovetail please sort it out scenarios are called scenarios for a reason what you guys did with the blockbuster scenario on the uh, antelope valley line was incredible what you guys did with the on guard scenario on gloss up line was incredible those are scenarios those are nothing like your usual timetable runs please let's go back to that rant over that's uh <laughs> that's pretty much it had to get that off my chest i feel march the 19th i'll be live streaming the route on the release day as soon as it drops be here subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that and i also stream regular train sim world content on mondays wednesdays thursdays fridays and saturdays we only take two days off boys 2 p.m to 5 p.m for your somewhat daily fix of train sim world content but other than that let me know down below what you guys think what's your opinions is this a route that you're going to be picking up is it one that uh, 
will be left for a sale or is it one that you're just not going to bother with at all let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions and let's have a conversation in the comments below but for now until the next one take care and peace out